Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. The town of Coventry is opening a first-of-its-kind furniture bank. The goal, to keep furniture out of the central landfill to help families in need and save taxpayers money. Eyewitness News consumer reporter Susan Campbell explains. The town says it's too early to estimate a cost savings, but they expect to notice a difference in their trash expenses soon after the furniture bank opens. Instead of being trashed, this solid wood headboard found a temporary home in Coventry's new furniture bank. Our hopes are to bring unwanted furniture that can be reused into the homes of families that need it. Melissa Soares from the town's Department of Public Works says the furniture bank will also cut down on the town's trash bill, saving taxpayers money. Because the town is no longer going to be paying to dispose of these items that we were, you know, in the past crushing and hauling to the central landfill. Take a look at the numbers. In April, the town got rid of about five tons of heavy furniture furniture each day at a cost of more than $8,000. It's our greatest disposal cost. To put it in perspective, the town is filling about two of these blue dumpsters each day. That doesn't include regular trash pickups. It's the most common phone call we receive on a daily basis is how do I get rid of this item. Um, we schedule out 20 stops a day, five days a week, 52 weeks a year. Even if there's a blizzard, we'll have 20 stops of furniture to pick up. A lot of it is trash and will end up in the landfill, but anything that can be diverted is money in the bank. A few things to keep in mind. The furniture bank opens June 3rd and is available for any Coventry residents. Go to the transfer station during business hours. If you find something you need, it's yours for free. The furniture bank will not have any cloth items, including sofas. Coventry received a matching grant from the Rhode Island Resource Recovery Corporation to start the furniture bank. If you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1. Our hotline is 228-1850. I'm Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.